All right, so we are out here and testing the features on the Spark to see if there's been any updates made for quick shots. So basically, Drony, Helix, Circle, see if we can change any of those settings. So we're gonna go ahead and launch and check that out. All right, here we go. Let's get the quick shot menu opened up here and go and circle us. Excellent. Now we'll go and start off with Drony. Uh, but before we do that, let me uh, circle around here just to make sure I've got plenty of room since before it would uh, really take off pretty far. So now that we're centered in the frame there, now now that this is set up, basically if you hit Drony again, this little distance meter pops up and you get to adjust the distance that Drony goes. Now I haven't tested it, so who knows how well it actually works or if it works, but let's take a look at that. So again, when you're looking at your quick shot menu, you just hit the... Uh, mode that you are using in this case it's drony and let's go ahead and we'll start off with something smaller so we'll try 20 meters so hit back and we'll go ahead and hit go and see how the spark handles that and there it goes and it's giving our percentage here on the side right below the record button and going back pulling away and that seems quite a bit further than 20 meters. And since we've got the room, we'll just let it keep going. Interrupted, really. So as you could see there, it definitely did not do what it was supposed to do and continued going. So let's fly that back. We'll try it again, but this time we'll try adjusting the distance just a little bit here and see maybe if that was just a weird thing or if the spark really does just not care and not like us at all. All right, so we'll cruise back and again, select quick shot. Go ahead and circle us, hit drony again and went back to 40 meters. Let's change that to you know what, let's try that at 10 meters just to see what happens. So Drony, it looks like it did save that. Hit go, and hopefully it's only gonna go back 30 feet. But based on the percentage here that we're seeing, that's nice, zero and 1%. Oh, there we go. So it does look like it's adjusting the distance a little bit, but not very much. So it seems like the percentage is definitely going up higher, but as you can see, it is much further away than 10 meters. So it does not look like drony mode is working as far as adjusting that. And again, it's claiming interrupted. Excellent, great job, DJ. Let's go ahead and try one of the other modes. So we'll open up quick shots again and drag a box over us. And this time let's do circle. Thank you for telling us what that is. We'll hit circle. Now it does let us choose clockwise or counterclockwise when we shoot, when we select it. Now it doesn't give options for speed or anything else like that, but let's see if it works. So let's go ahead and try the default, which was counterclockwise. Let's go back here and we'll hit go. And now it is rotating around and based on my position, or I guess just in general, it is going in a counterclockwise direction and the percentage is counting down there so you can see it circling around. Let that go, it doesn't look like there's anything for it to hit, which is good because that would be an issue. And I am using a, an iPad mini four and you did just see that uh, error come up. Now again, it says interrupted. Thanks for that. Go and hit stop, hit circle. And this time let's try clockwise just to see if it goes the other direction. Again, double check it on here. It does show clockwise and we'll hit go. And it actually is going the opposite direction, uh, direction now. So that's, I guess, a relief that it's finally doing something that the mode offers. But again, getting that CPU or CPU fully loaded error. A lot of people have been running into this problem. I right now have cache turned off on the iPad mini four and this is pretty much only, wow, there we go. It doesn't look like it completed it again. This is really just uh, an iPad that I use for 
the drone so I don't have emails I don't have anything else on here so I know people have been wondering like oh well maybe if I take everything uh, all the apps and everything off it still doesn't seem like it makes much of a difference now you do see that high wind velocity message that could be part of it because I know before sunrise it would just get irritated if uh, the wind was was strong like this so maybe that's it but as you can see here we're not having very much luck with completing any of these modes all right so let's open up quick shot again draw a circle around us and we'll try helix this time click on helix and same thing this gives us distance and direction so we'll try start off with the smallest and we'll go clockwise which seems to be the default at least when you first open it so 10 meters and clockwise direction so we'll go ahead and hit go and see what happens so it is circling complaining about high wind velocity I'm not doing a superb job of keeping us in the center but it is sort of doing what it's supposed to be doing and again we are really flying pretty far away here and yeah again 51 percent i'm gonna go ahead and hit stop because i don't want uh, the spark too far away and we are now over some trees so again it doesn't look like that was working too well but we'll come back over here and we'll try counterclockwise and see if that helps and again we'll open up the menu here quick shot circle us and hit helix again and we'll change it again to the shortest distance and we'll go counterclockwise and let's see what happens here and this will be the last one since we're now getting a little battery warning go and hit go and looks like it is coming back around it's kind of going in a weird way i guess eh, it seems to be doing okay but it's not I guess that actually really isn't that, that bad, but now it's just sort of going straight back. It's not doing a circle at all. In fact, it's going directly back because I'm looking at it right now. Excellent job. And it's starting to curve over just a little bit, but again, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that because I don't want to end up super far away, especially when I told it not to. So as we saw in the first video, the quick shot modes really are sort of working. The direction wise uh, seems to be operating and functional when you tell it clockwise or counterclockwise, but distance control seems to have zero effect on how far the drone will be going. And as we saw in the last one, the Helix video it was basically just going straight back and not actually circling and going further away. So awesome. So let's get another one up in the air and try a couple more times and maybe something has changed. And here we go again, we'll go open up the quick shot menu, go and circle us. And this time, since we were using Helix before, let's try out Rocket. Now I don't know, oh, distance apparently that it will travel. Let's just try 10 meters and go from there. So again, you can see it's on there, set up for that, and we'll hit go. All right, coming over to us and starting to go up. Claim that it ended and it did look like I wasn't paying attention to the height here, but it did look like it might have actually done what it was supposed to do, but who knows? So let's try that again. And this time we'll choose uh, even higher hit rocket again and this time let's do 50 meters just to see so again go back to rocket it does look like that is saved and we'll go ahead and hit go and let the spark do its thing and you can see the percentage there and coming up sort of over us and taking off 40%. So it looks like Rocket might actually be listening when you tell it a certain height because we put 50 on there. So if it stops around 150 feet, let's see, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, okay, that might be working because our starting height might have been about 100 or 100, might have been around 30 or 40 feet. And so now it's automatically coming back down. So it is nice to see that at least for the rocket mode, quick shots does look like it is working for distance and everything, but all of the other modes are not. Drop down to 50 feet just to make things easy for us and select quick shots, circle us, and hit rocket, and we'll change it to, uh, let's see, 20 meters, so 60 feet. Double check that that's on there. And we're starting at 50 feet, so it should go just over 100, and we'll hit go. Quick shot immediately interrupted, okay. 20 still and our height you can see is between 55 60 feet and we'll hit go and rising up so we should get around 110 to 130 feet before it decides that it's 100 percent complete and 100 24 feet it looks like it peaked out at. So again, looks like rocket mode is working for accuracy as far as how high, high it will go, but the other modes we haven't had luck with. And let's try, uh, let's try Droney again. Droney, let's tell it uh, 15 meters. There we go, 15 meters. Droney, 15 meters. And Show us your thing, little spark. Zero percent still, fantastic. And ended because of an unknown reason. So wonderful, um, still 4.1.5 and firmware 500 on the spark. Doesn't seem to be 100% working. I haven't had any aircraft issues, but as far as actual flying goes, it's been not so stable. Well, okay, that's that's wrong. Using the quick shots hasn't been very accurate, but flight itself has been fine. It's just not listening when you tell it, hey, I want you to be going only a certain distance or uh, that sort of thing with the quick shot modes.